Because in 20 days, it was making its stop in Simsbury tonight, and we're looking at what people remember about the quiet town <laughs> back in the 90s. And as Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo found out, the town has a pretty rockin' past. The year was 1991. A few months before Nirvana's Nevermind album would usher in the grunge era. And a kid who hadn't quite hit the ninth grade entered himself into the Simsbury High School Battle of the Bands. And boy, did he shred. I wasn't disqualified or anything. We did win second place. It still might be my best gig ever. Pete Pigeon, class of 95, is a professional musician now. Living in California has given him the chance to reflect on growing up in Simsbury, back when he played gigs in the little town that made him dream big. The first club gig I ever played was uh, Gemini's Cafe. Now known as the Old Well Tavern. But like most musicians, early gigs for Pigeon looked a lot more like school concerts. Music program is outstanding. And what good is technology without a teacher who inspires you to rock to your very core? The most beautiful sound I've ever heard. Cue Maria, Mr. Stephen Barnacle. Maria, Maria, Maria. A rock star in his own right. Mr. Barnacle earned national recognition as a music teacher, inspiring Simsbury High students for 30 years. The music was a way of expressing themselves. The 90s was more internal, internalized, I think, uh, anxiety the kids would have. Mr. Barnacle says by the 1990s, he had started music recording classes as a way to reach kids who weren't in band, orchestra, or chorus. We should be offering things for the whole school. Mr. Barnacle's chance encounter with one of those non-traditional music kids struck a chord that's still ringing three decades later. I remember he came in one time and said, hey, you sound pretty good. Do you want to play in the uh, performance coming up? And he really believed in me. It may be hard for a teacher to realize just how many kids they impact over the years. But just like hearing a song from your past. Mr. Barnacle, hey, Peter. How, are you? how you doing? Looks like you still, you still got yourself surrounded by guitars. It doesn't take much reconnecting for the good memories to come flooding back. It made me feel like, oh, I'm doing something right. You know, I'm a professional now. <laughs> I'm climbing the ladder. I'm getting the calls. And the bread wasn't great on that gig. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest hits start with a single note. And in 90s era Simsbury, aspiring musicians of all types found a certified gold in Mr. Barnacle. It made me work harder and feel appreciated. And that's what gave myself and other, other teachers uh, the, the motivation too, were students like yourself who listened to you and actually did something with it. 